Shalom Chavarim, this is Richard Solomon, and I'm doing something kind of interesting right now. I am using QuickTime Player to demonstrate the image capturing capacity of Jing. So we are right now looking at my blog, and let's activate Jing and capture this image of Jing. Okay, so we use that crossbar to capture the image. Then I click on the first icon that says capture an image. So here we have an image of Jing. And what I didn't show you last time was the use of these various tools. So if you click on this rectangle over here, and you have, by the way, choices of colors. So I could make the uh, rectangle, let's say, red. Okay. And if I'm clicking on this rectangle again, look what happens. I can place a rectangle in any area I want. And I also can write text. So let's say I write text here and I, I say this is my blog's name. Okay, and I also can take an arrow and do that. Let me show you once again. So I can take an arrow, uh, I mean a rectangle, and I can place a rectangle around anywhere, I can put an arrow, right, over here, and I also can write text, and I can say, this is a QR code. Now I can make the rectangle larger as well by moving this like this and you should be able to see this better okay and when you are finished you just you can save it or you can share it to uh, screencast for free remember how you do that if you want to save it onto your computer you click here Let's say I want to save that. I just click it there. And uh, here it is on my computer. Uh, we call this demo of the use of Jing as a screen capture. And it will be placed somewhere on my desktop. Okay, so it's been saved. Okay, thank you very much. So that's what I wanted to show you. Now I'm going to uh, end this recording and uh, send it to you.